utilizes the empty space really nicely here. Far pull strike. Oh, great finish. Yeah, that's really good. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. We have all of the icon swaps to review nowadays, guys. So I'm going to try my best to get to most of them so that you guys can get a good idea of how they play in game, what their best chemistry styles are, because I know some of you guys are also playing FIBA for the sentimental value as well. So we're just going to get started with Ian Rush. I already do have a Kaka review out. That one has been out for a while. I just did a review for the sake of it. And uh, now that he's an actual card, uh, that video will probably get its traction as well because he's one of the icon swaps. So with Ian Rush's card, guys, we're looking at someone that is five foot 11, high medium work rates with his preferred foot being the right foot with three star skill moves and a five star weak foot. So Here's the thing about this card, right, is that what you want to aim for the most is responsive dribbling, right? If you get responsive dribbling with this card, with that five-star weak foot, you're looking at a lot of potential with this card because his finishing is probably going to be very good, right? So let's take a look at his actual stats. We're looking at 87 acceleration, 91 sprint speed, so it makes sense to boost it if you can, right? If you take a look at his dribbling stats and his shooting stats, here's the important thing with this card, right? is that he already has 97 shot power with 90, or excuse me, 90 shot power with 97 finishing and 97 composure. But the most important thing, right, to do with this card is going to be boosting boosting uh, the balance and the agility parts the most, right? But you could see that with the engine chemistry style, you also boost his actual dribbling stat by a plus 10 as well. So that, with the 97 composure, very good physical presence in the game, you're looking at a pretty decent card, right? So um, I do expect it to play really well. You know, the fact that he doesn't have the the skill moves is not necessarily a huge deal. It's one of those things. It's like, oh, cool. If I have it, great. If I don't, it's really whatever. Most of the movement that I do anyway is analyzing how a player moves off the ball and how a player moves on the ball, right? So um, it's a lot of left stick dribbling for the most part. Like I, I don't usually use four star skills that much but i do from time to time it's one of those things right so is it a nuisance to not have from time to time yes uh because it makes your play less predictable but at the end of the day um it's all about having the shooting characteristics to finish your opportunities right um on this account he has 70 games played 63 goals 29 assists so obviously that could be down to quality of the player or whatnot but it's a pretty good show out so far right um he bought him for 1.4 million coins. He was just chilling in his club, he told me. So I was like, yo, let me just use your account for the player review then. So um, yeah, the way we're going to be lined up in game is going to look like this. Because Lewandowski can actually play the uh, cam position as well really nicely, by the ways, we're going to have him in that cam position with Thorgan Hazard off to the right side, Steven Gerrard, Kimmich, all that fun stuff. But Ian Rush, we're going to have him on balanced instructions, right? We don't want to try, we don't want to stay, we don't We don't want to tell him um, to stay forward specifically because you want to see how he moves generally speaking, right? It's ideal to get strikers where you don't tell them to play anything. Like with the instructions, you don't want to tell them to move uh, in a certain way because I feel like personally, it's not necessarily ideal. I feel like attacking positioning by the player himself is better because it makes your play less predictable, right? Because he has 87 stamina, you actually can tell him to come back. So in my opinion, this is one of the cool cards you could potentially get for sentimental value and for in-game quality. So uh, we're going to try him out in-game, see how he plays. Hopefully he is a beast. And uh, yeah, let's take it from there. Okay, so this is his card right here. Ooh, I'm liking his acceleration so far. I think the 5'11 height with the balance instruction on his card is going to be very important. You can kind of tell what the person's dribbling is like and what they're going to be like because of the um, because of the movement when you are controlling them on the defensive area, right? Like that's the important thing when it comes to these cards. So let's see how he positions himself, generally speaking, here. Okay, so he rotate he rotates to the side right here. And transitions back into the middle quite nicely. Okay, so he does have a rotation policy with the players. That's good. I want to try to get him on the far post right here. Oh, I didn't even register. Oh, I could have put more power there for sure. But I, I like the run that he was making far post there. If I actually did a really good cross, I think he would have scored that opportunity there. First time fake shot touch from that angle okay so he shoots it a little bit to the middle from that specific angle now those are the low percentage shots so i don't expect them to take absolute bangers from there right you can see it's directly at the goalkeeper from that angle um but that's not the 45 degree angle so 
Just wanted to see what he was like at that one, specifically. Utilizes the empty space really nicely here. Far pull strike. Oh, great finish. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, so 45 degree angle inside the 18 yard box. Just a regular power strike and he scores the opportunity really nicely. So I am noticing, right, that the engine chemistry style boost that you give this card makes him incredibly usable. He's actually very, very responsive in game um, because of his general dribbling stats that have been improved. That's a great finish from a regular power strike there. Gets into position nicely. Will he utilize this empty space here? He does. Again from that angle. Okay, so that one was more to the right side. Not not like lasered shots. Not a laser shot because you guys know that there's specific players when they take those shots, they're lasers, right? Um, doesn't feel like there's a lot of power behind those ones specifically, but we're going to go ahead and try to get the better percentage shots to see what it's like. How does he play off of the attackers here? I like that he goes into that space right there. That space is the one that I always look for. And he's going into it instantly, which is fantastic. That was supposed to be a first time fake shot. Didn't really work out there. Even without the comeback and defense instruction, I feel like he positions himself quite nicely in the striker position. 87 stamina is, is in my opinion, good enough to have. I think that's like, that's always like the bare minimum that I always tell people to at least have with their players. Lovely pass there at Barnes. Let's see if Barnes utilizes the middle position here. It doesn't go quickly, but he starts doing it here, which is great. Layoff. First time. Oof. His skill moves come off nicely, too. They're not, like, super emphasized, right? Like, you want to be able to do those pretty quickly. So, um, the fact that he doesn't have the four-star skill moves kind of sucks, obviously. But um, it's, not a, it's not a huge nuisance, to be honest, guys. I think most of the attacking in this game is really left stick oriented, right? So... And his left stick dribbling is quite nice. Little dummy on his weak foot from that angle. Not bad, actually. Not bad from that specific position. Because with the five-star weak foot, it's going to be a hugely beneficial thing. The percentage of the shot that he took there was really low, right? I'm trying to test out those ones where he's really facing away from goal. And uh, he actually hits that quite nicely. So we're going to try to get higher percentage shots now. Good layoff. See how he positions himself here. His positioning there was pretty nice. I like the way he was transitioning from the side to the middle. He did a pretty good job. That's the space I see him always, always make. It's that one. Oh my god. <laughs> Really good transitioning run there with Thorgan Hazard. That's the one you always look for. That's like one of the best attacking AIs that EA has that's really noticeable. Um, yeah, man. I'm liking the card so far, guys. I, I feel like personally it is worth it so far if you do choose to get it. His left stick dribbling is pretty responsive. His five-star weak foot's only going to be a plus in the shooting. Um, he's not going to take those really, like... Uh, low percentage shots that well because there's some players that like r regardless of the angle that they're in they just take really really nice shots Lewandowski is one of those guys um, but obviously with the low percentage shots you should be aiming to go for the high percentage shots anyways you know Aggressive run right there. That's cool. I'm down for that. Let's see how he transitions back. Yeah, that's what exactly what I want. See that left stick dribbling? It's responsive, man. It's good. Oh, that's the one I want you to use. Nice. That's good. See that off the ball moving right there. He's he's going into the right spaces, boys. Very, very important. Nice. Really good responsiveness for the L trigger shield right there. Trying to work off the movement here in the middle. Good shielding with Gerard. Oh, he still has the ball. Sticky. <laughs> Sticky. <laughs> 
Oh god. Fake shots are not really like that useful, like the regular ones. Um, they're only useful when you're doing like the rain running fake shot. But he did really well right there. Yeah, I like his positioning in this general area. Really good. Touch, now shoot from that angle. There, that's the one. So you want to get that 45 degree angle shot, right? Once you get that 45 degree angle shots, that is the ones that are a little bit higher percentage, right? It's the one that's, it's like, I, I'm literally explaining it. 45 degree, boom, right there, right? So that with his five star weak foot, higher percentage shot, it's going to be really nice with this card, obviously, right? I'm, I'm enjoying this card, guys. I personally think so far, if you end up choosing him, you won't regret it. And he's, he's an icon moment, so it's the best version of his card, right? Yeah, that's great. Yeah, he goes for the outside foot shot as well. Like, so once you get into that position that's like directly facing the goal, you kind of aim your thumbstick upwards and then it goes for the outside foot shot instantly. So uh, you can clearly see that his dribbling is very responsive to the engine chemistry style. The engine chemistry style definitely fixes this card, in my opinion. Um, the way he's moving around the pitch is, is really, really nice right now, dudes. You can even see that in that position when I was on the left side. Once I did the fake shot stop, he stopped making his run because he understood that he had to stay in that... Uh, in that vicinity, right? If he overcommitted there, he wouldn't have he wouldn't have scored that opportunity because some players do overcommit, right? Ooh, pushes out the goalkeeper there. Let's see if he has any good free kicks. I haven't actually seen his free kick stats because they don't really show it in the actual menus, which they probably should, but it is what it is. Uh, free kick accuracy is at 81, 79 curve. Okay, so 79 curve, I'm assuming it'd be around probably here, I would say. I would say it's probably here. Yeah, not bad. He doesn't have, I, I don't know if it's like power there or something, but uh, if you ever taken a free kick with Ronaldinho, that guy gets there really quickly, but not too bad. It's usable for sure. He's the guy at the far post right here. Let's see what we could do over here. Oh, little flick? Hit that. Nice. Oh, is he going to get that? Oh, he misses the whole net. I don't blame the player for that. The chip shots are just really shit in this game. I really, I really hate the fact that they're not, like, such a usable thing. Like, it's better if I just, like, ball roll around the goalkeeper and just score it that way. Um, but, yeah. All right, guys, so final verdict on the card uh, in regards to if he is good or not. Uh, he's pretty good. Engine chemistry style definitely helps out this card a lot. The plus 10 for dribbling, uh, agility, balance, the plus 5 for acceleration, sprint speed, and the general passing stats as well. Um, really, really nice. I think he plays... I think he plays really well in game. Uh, the lack of skill moves in regards to him being a minimum of four uh, does suck from time to time, obviously, but not a big deal because his left stick dribbling is very responsive. So if you guys end up doing this card, uh, I don't think you guys will regret it. I think he plays really well in game. So uh, yeah, that's one icon stops review down. We'll try to get some more for you guys out later. Today is the 14th, so I'm going to check in like nine minutes to see what the rest of the content is, all right? Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.